ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ their devotees and disciples from all over the world many from around the world are sitting in this hall and in many halls around the world i am sitting now <laughs> as on now in 12 places nsp is happening 12 places people are sitting with us now as you are all aware this is a first program four day workshop i am offering through internet video conferencing so i am just aligning in those days before starting the ritual the acharyas will do puja to the different parts now before starting the class we should do puja to all the different <laughs> video conferencing equipments and everything <laughs> see that they are all in tune yanamaya can you connect with malaysia hmm? okay are they able to hear me all right i send my blessings to all the devotees in malaysia today they successfully had a peace march in malaysia with thousands of devotees which was attended and watched by hundreds of thousands of people public today one of the largest religious festival happening in southern part of asia in malaysia today there is a festival called thai poosam more than millions of people gather more than millions means at least 2 million more than 2 million gather huge gathering of hindus and today our devotees had a huge procession with few thousands of people for religious peace and religious freedom freedom to practice our religion it was successful and well received by everybody my blessings to malaysia devotees and to malaysia for giving us religious freedom to practice our religion and faith i thank malaysia and its government for respecting and allowing our religious freedom thank you for being a welcoming country for religious freedom let's enter into the satsanga satsanga means being in the company of truth the ultimate truth truth has a unique quality when you are in company of it it makes you as it please understand i'm using very decisive words when you are in company of it it makes you as it because no other word i am using the word it but it is not it when you use the word it for something it shows as if it is not alive 
but the truth is living happening when you are in the company of the sat the ultimate truth it just fills you it just fills you you become that satsanga means being in the company of the ultimate truth so now you are literally in the company of the ultimate truth physically mentally verbally so i just wanted to remind you all sit either in vajrasana or sukhasana or batmasana an samana mudra samana mudra means the right thumb should be up and the left thumb should be lower and lock the hand that's it samana mudra some of you may be aware i am giving a special spiritual training to all the satsang centers first few days i was giving them the experience of kundalini awakening the next few days along with the kundalini awakening awakening the paduka means the vibhuti materializing getting materialized from padukas see it is not for any magic or miracle when a vibhuti comes out of the paduka now you know that paduka is now jagrat paduka awakened paduka which has a direct connection with me so any prayer or a word or a offering you offer it to that paduka directly reaches me it is connected to the cosmic energy please understand energized deity or energized paduka an awakened deity or awakened paduka is independent intelligence it responds to your prayers emotions thoughts independently and immediately so i was awakening the intelligence in padukas prana pratishtha of the padukas were happening i was so happy in the first set of training many had kundalini awakening and the second set of actions many padukas have strongly felt been connected and the vibhuti has started coming every day i am receiving photographs from devotees then third experiment which i was trying which i will continue to try for next one week till the end of the nsp i'll try to materialize or teleport vibhuti in the hands of the people who are experiencing kundalini awakening this is the next experiment please understand it's a le- different levels and levels of experiment first the paduka which is not which does not have a logic which is an ordinary material from that materializing vibhuti it's a very easy project easy thing then person who has a logic but ready to surrender a devotee from his hand materializing then the third level we will do person who has a logic but who is not ready to surrender a scientific community or an atheist or a thicket maybe a politician <laughs> we will get those people and from their hand we will materialize and <laughs> no this is not for any glory or magic or anything it is just to tell you this is a science simple science science when the cosmic energy is awakened how much of auspicious things can be done to people is that the day i was trying to materialize vibhuti from the 
hands of the devotees received photographs and email from Oman, Nitya Devi, one of our devotee, Sri Priyan's daughter, she had Vibhuti in her hands, not a little, huge quantity. And I wanted to tell her, please distribute that Vibhuti to anybody who is sick, who comes for healing, immediately they will be healed, whether it is a cancer or any disease, because when this Vibhuti, actually it is not materializing, materializing is not a right word, it is not creation, it is teleporting from my table, here there is a vibhuti, it will reduce here and it will go there. And maybe from tomorrow I will prove, we will have a test tube, the glass tube in that we will fill the vibhuti with mark, you will see the vibhuti going down by the time I end the satsang and the vibhuti will be there in a different place. It is like a teleporting. So when the matter becomes energy and travels to that person's hand and again becomes energy by the time this is filled by my healing energy. It almost becomes part of my body. So it will be filled with a healing energy. So anybody with any physical and mental disorder give this vibhuti which comes out of padaka or comes from your hand you will see Immediately they will be healed. A tremendous healing will happen. Even in Tamil Nadu, some six, seven centers reported yesterday in organizers meet to me that the day I declared that all from all Padukas Vibhuti will come, Vibhuti just came from New York Paduka. It is coming. <laughs> in New York, just now it is coming. The message is coming. I am seeing the message. New York. <laughs> they are sending the message to me. Just now, Vibhuti is coming. Great. That's what tomorrow we will have. Actually, now you cannot quantify because it's all in the cover. From tomorrow, we will have it in the test tube with a marking. So you will see exactly how it goes down step by step and comes out there. Anyhow, New York devotees give that vibhuti to people who want healing because it will be a powerful energy product. Hmm? Actually, that vibhuti will be more powerful than the vibhuti. Directly you take it from here. If I give it in the hand, I am not materializing. That just the matter getting energized and goes to your hand. But there, it's almost like a gets dismantled by energy and travels in space and gets assembled again in energy. It is like a filled by the energy. Great. Use this for the healing. It is time now. We enter into the satsang. I am so happy actually. Today I feel it is a big breakthrough for the great mission which I need to do for the world. Because we are using technology and the scalable breakthrough is happening. So I don't need to continuously travel to teach, educate, give experience to people. That is the only purpose I used to travel. I never uh, travel for sightseeing. I never have any interest for sightseeing. No, really, I went to Paris. The devotee who hosted me, she was so excited that she can take me to the, the top of that Eiffel Tower. She drove me all around and she was, she bent on. She was literally begging, Swamiji, you should go to the top and see the Paris. I said, no, I am able to see. <laughs> what more you will show? I did not even lower the car glass to look. I said, no, it's okay, drive. She said, Swamiji, at least lower the glass and look for my sake. Because this is such a big pride we have. Anybody comes to this city, we show them. And people are surprised, shocked, excited. You are not even lowering the glass. It's almost like a disrespecting. I said, no, no, no. I'm not disrespecting. Just I'm not excited to see something. I have seen the seer who is the most beautiful scene. 
so nothing more excites me maybe one thing i see with all my excitement in my life is that arunachala <laughs> nothing else that's why you will see in my bedroom near my bedroom you will see one arunachala wherever i sit and give my personal interview or talking to people i love one arunachala whenever i find time I, my eyes will be on arunachala maybe that is the only thing i see with excitement otherwise there is nothing that also i can see when i close my eyes so there is nothing i don't need to travel for the sake of sight seeing i was always traveling for the sake of teaching and giving experience unfortunately the technology has made it possible the technology has made that my teaching is possible through remote way and the divine energy has made even giving experience has become possible in the remote way so i am so happy for the video conferencing technology and for maschendranatha and goraknatha please understand the kundalini experience which people are experiencing being away physically from me like many other centers you see being in my breathing space and experiencing kundalini this technology happened in me because of patanjali this was happening even before even the, the time from which i am started mission it was happening but people experiencing the awakening of kundalini even not being in my breathing space like a video conferencing this happened in me because of maschendranatha and goraknatha they are hatha yogas hatha yoga techniques that was responsible i wanted this to be on record whoever is experiencing the kundalini awakening being in different places through the satsang all of you are indebted to maschendranatha and goraknatha the great masters of they are actually master disciple both of them are responsible like a twins almost like ramakrishna and vivekananda even though they are two bodies they are same energy same way maschendranatha and goraknatha two bodies but same energy they are the masters of hatha yoga and yeah, most powerful energy science energy technology it is their technology which has become experience in me which is responsible for this awakening of kundalini even if people are in remote place so now we can teach and give experience anybody anywhere in the world literally i bless you all live radiate share the eternal bliss nityananda thank you